Hey everyone, it's Kat. I know it's been a long time. And, um, well, here I am. First of all, before I get started, I'm going to be changing. Oop, I got to. There. I'm going to be changing Katara today. Um, I first I want to send out my condolences about Laura from Little X Loves. Um, didn't know her very well. She was some of the first videos I watched. And uh, I was subscribed to her at some point, and somehow I got unsubscribed to her and didn't realize it. And how I didn't realize I wasn't watching her videos, I don't know. But I would come across them a couple times, and I would watch them. And uh, she will be missed in the community. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a little bit of my cough. I've had bronchitis. But um, she will be missed, and I know... Um, a lot of you out there are really, really hurt and suffering and uh, with her loss. I, I mean, I am too to a certain extent, but I just didn't know her that well. But I've been praying for her family that uh, God gives them the peace and comfort that only he can give at this time of sorrow. Um, so now on to our changing of Katara. Um, I had changed her into this. I didn't do it on camera, but I love the little froggies. Um, sleeper. Are you going to get your tail into this boy? Phoenix is just right here, you know. If I'm changing babies, Phoenix has to be right here with me. He loves his babies. Yeah, he thinks they're his. If I leave him laying out in the bed, I'll come in here and uh, he'll be all curled up with them. It's so cute. But here's my chunky girl. She wears zero to three or three month size clothing really well. Uh oh, is she still heavy? Not as quite as heavy when I first got her when I sent her back to get some stuff taken care of. Which I'm still not quite so sure. Her arms still look really shiny to me. I don't know what to do. So if somebody out there could give me some suggestions. Her legs are beautifully matted, just beautiful. They don't shine at all. But her little arms right here just seem to. So, um, any uh, suggestions would be helpful. She's still on her original body that she came with, but I am going to be reweighting her because everything's right here. And then when you get up here, she flops. A lot and I like floppy babies but for a baby who's supposed to be three months she flops just a little bit too much and as I hold her I feel like she's more of a pear shaped now she's laying here she doesn't she looks great but you know ladies it's all about the cuddle so she'll be having some minor surgery here whenever I get around to it or feel like it I know I'm a little late on theme Thursday and that um, Amy will be doing another one today, but I am going to put her in the little doggy outfit. Y'all have seen this before with Savannah has wore it, but it's always been a little big on Savannah. So we are going to see, because it is a three month, so we're going to put this on Miss Katara and it should fit her perfectly. Oh, it's okay, big boy. Just to catch up a little bit. Um, as you can kind of tell in my voice, I, I've been sick with that congestion and stuff going around, but mine really, <clears throat> okay, here's how mine started. I got choked on some water when I was at my knitting group, and uh, one thing I hate about Coleroy, oh, it just collects the hair. Anyway, I got choked, and, uh. You know how it is when you get that little bit of stuff caught in your throat and you just keep coughing and coughing and it, it's hard to get up. But, you know, after a few minutes it, it gets up. Mine didn't. Mine lasted for hours. And finally it got better. Well, within the next day or so, my throat was really sore. And, of course, you know, it was because of all the coughing and everything. Whoa, this might be too small for her. For, let me hold her, pick, pick her up. Um, I 
you know, my throat was sore because of the coughing. You know, trying to get that up. You know how we all do with our throats and stuff. I don't have to go into gory detail on that. But, um, the thing was, all of a sudden, my chest started getting tight. And, you know, when you have chronic illnesses, you get so tired of going to the doctor. And you tend to self-doctor yourself. And tend to kind of self-medicate. When I say self-medicate, I mean I was using over-the-counter stuff. And, you know, diagnosing myself and what it, you know. Um. Oops. You're going to turn your head that way. Okay. Um. You know, things like that. Well, finally, I got tired of hearing my mom fuss. So, I went to the urgent care. And my lungs sounded clear, but I had inf kind of inflamed my bronchial tubes. Not so much that she wanted to call it um, bronchitis, but yet that's kind of the diagnosis she gave me. That along with maybe a touch of pneumonia because of... Um, getting water down in my tubes but not quite pneumonia now you know that I feel isn't it well it might be this but it's not quite this so we're going to treat you for this and hope it works well I got cough syrup with codeine and that helped it really quieted my cough and um, she did put me on a short-term, fast-acting, strong, like z pack or something, but I only had to take it for five days and uh, of antibiotics. So, now I'm getting to the point where I'm not coughing like I was, but I'm still coughing and bringing up gunk. So, don't like that fact. And I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment this last week, but my doctor got sick. And then we had the first of two snowstorms this week. Yeah, I know everybody's, especially East Coast, has been having to deal with the snow and stuff. Well, we got two events. We got about three to four inches the first event. And about the same amount the second event. Except the second event came with all the blowing snow. So, we got a total of about eight inches but if you go to about 30 minutes south of here which I have a lot of friends living about 30 minutes south in uh, Madisonville Kentucky <laughs> they got the start of the blizzard that's hitting the east coast this weekend they got about um, in one the second snowstorm because uh, the first one kind of missed them um, there isn't she beautiful they got about 10 to 12 inches plus they got freezing rain so there's my Miss Katara and that was just a little catch up of what's been going on I'm gonna do hopefully several videos today just kind of I'm feeling pretty decent today my back's not hurting as bad and well I just thought it was time to play with my babies with everything that's been going on you know, the sadness in the Dolly world, and I've had, I can't tell you how many of my friends have lost parents or grandparents these last two to three weeks. And, uh, Kathy, I'm still saying prayers uh, for you and Kimber and your family with the, the loss of your dad. I know how it is. And, uh, Nicole, with the loss of your grandmother. I'm sorry about that too and I'm still praying for you for healing and everything and well before this gets on a sad note or anything this is Kat going to be signing off with Mr. Phoenix right there there we can get them both in the shot so this is Kat Phoenix and Katara signing off saying meow